Denver 911, what's the address of your emergency? 274-1-California-C. Hi everybody, I'm Sergeant Warnicky with DPD-TV. There's been lots of talk lately about call loads and response times. In this three-part episode, we're going to give you an exclusive look behind the scenes into just how many factors influence from the time you call 911 until help arrives. Criminal miss that just occurred. It's actually been holding about 40 minutes now. The Denver Combined Communications Center is a busy place. In 2012, we took just under a million calls, which is about 2,700 calls a day. New technologies represent new challenges as well. Of those calls, the 80 to 85 percent are cell phone calls which are challenging in the fact that we don't know exactly where people are. And with all the cell phones, that means sometimes there's lots of calls for every incident. Just had an accident, Colfax and Josephine, where a vehicle hit pedestrians at the bus stop. We had um, 10 calls on hold because all of the wireless calls that came in, each one of them has to be triaged for witness information. And sometimes after people have called, they hang up. In 2012, we had 88,000. 133 hang-up calls that we managed. Hanging up on 911 creates a whole new set of problems. If you call 911 and you get put on hold, um, you hang up and you call back. Your call that you hung up on is still going to wait in line and it still has to be processed. And that could include multiple callbacks. Meanwhile, other calls are starting to back up. So if you call 911 and you get placed on hold, be patient. I know that's a difficult thing to ask in an emergency situation, but your call will get answered faster and help will get to you faster if you can stay on the line without having to call you back. You're welcome. Bye. Lots of other factors that go into call times. In part two, we're going to show you some of the challenges languages can present in getting help to you. Thanks for watching.